3a. The perimeter of an equilateral triangle is equilateral triangle of side 14 cm is same as perimeter of a triangle. So let's draw an equilateral triangle first. Okay, so each side is 14, 14 and 14 centimeters. Now there is another triangle, let's say this is M N P. And the perimeter of these two triangles are equal. So we know the uh, perimeter of this one, equilateral triangle, will be 14 times 3. 3 times 14, which is 42 centimeters. However, the lengths of the sides of MNP are con consecutive integers. So if this is A, this is A plus 1, and this is a plus 2, they are integers. So first one more and another one more. Calculate the longest side of triangle MNP. Basically we have to find a plus 2 because this is the longest side. So we can do that. 42 is equal to a plus a plus 1 plus a plus 2. 1 plus 2 is 3 and let's move it to the other side. 42 minus 3 equal to a plus a plus a 3a 39 is equal to 3a so a is 39 divided by 3 13 centimeters is a the one which is here we have to find a plus 2 so we'll write the longest side of triangle M and P is equal to A plus 2 which is 13 plus 2 15 centimeters. Let's move on to the B part of the same question. Okay. In the diagram R, angle RPQ is 32 degree they have given here. Angle SNO 90 degree they have shown here. And NS is parallel to PR. NS is parallel to PR. Okay, find angle NOP. So NOP is this. This is the angle we have to find out. Okay, so let's do what? Let's use this parallel property with another parallel property. Let's draw one more line which is parallel to this line OQ. And let's name this as X. So Nx, so you can write the construction, draw a line parallel to OQ and that is Nx is parallel to OQ, right? Since they are parallel, this angle is going to be equal to 32 degree, isn't it? Because there are two parallel lines and these two are parallel lines, so this will also be 32 degrees. So we will write angle S and X is equal to 32 degree and it is corresponding angle to uh, angle R P Q. Okay, now since this is 32 and total is 90, so angle X and O will be 90 minus 32 degrees. Yeah, because angle S and O is equal to 90 degree given. All right. So 90 minus 32, that will be 58 degrees. So this angle is 58 degrees. Now, this angle, 58 degrees, and the required angle, though that one, they are asking us to find out angle NOP, they are internal supplementary angles, okay? So angle uh, X and O plus, 
angle NOP equal to 180 degrees because they are interior angles or supplementary angles, whatever you call them. All right. So angle SNO is known to us. It is how much? Uh, 58. So it will be, uh, let's write this value, 58 degrees plus angle NOP equal to 180 degrees. Angle NOP will be 180 minus 58 degrees, which will be 122 degrees. That's the answer.